Welcome back to the Navy Coaches Series. Joining me now is Navy's Director of Rugby and Head Men's Rugby Coach Gavin Hickey. It's been a wild week for you. The rugby program has been elevated from club to varsity status, becoming the 34th and 35th varsity programs here at the United States Naval Academy. What has this past week been like for you? It's been phenomenal. It's been uh, the culmination of years and years of hard work, and it's, it's, it's a dream come true. We knew this announcement was coming. Then when it did, uh, make the headlines, it's just been non-stop and, and the well wishes and the congratulations and the support has just been phenomenal. What was it like to tell the student athletes they were being elevated to varsity and also to tell all the alumni of this exciting announcement? It's just so satisfying, gratifying. The alumni of Navy Rugby have worked so hard for so long with this being the ultimate goal. And to finally get there, I mean, we're, we were founded really in 1963 and our founders are still with us today, thankfully, and hopefully will be for a very long time. But for, for those guys to see what the program's been through and then to, to now get the varsity news, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. And for our student athletes, it is a recognition of their unbelievable hard work. So overall, it's just, it's just so, so satisfying. It, it's so uh, gratifying. A lot of Navy fans might not know too much about rugby. Is it a sport with quarters? Does it have halves? How long is a game? What's a typical score of a sport like rugby? Well, um, we try to keep everybody to zero, uh, which obviously to, to keep them nil, but, which is not always the case, obviously. Um, so it's two 40-minute halves, 80 minutes, with a 10-minute halftime in between. Um, the similarities to football are, are are there. In football you score uh, your six points for a touchdown but you don't actually have to touch the ball down whereas in rugby you do have to touch the ball down so there's a lot of similarities there but it's five points for a try what we call a try which is like a touchdown plus uh, two points for a conversion plus then three points for a, a penalty goal at any stage as well. It's a tough sport with with no pads um, and because of that we really focus on safety through technique. You're entering your sixth season here as the head coach at Navy. What's it like working with these midshipmen day in and day out? It's hard to put it into words and do justice to what it all really means. These young men and women are phenomenal, uh, phenomenal people. They are show real character, real grit, real focus, real determination. And for a coach to work at the Naval Academy with the student athletes that we have, it really is a dream come true. And I just want to really make sure I'm, I'm hammering home the point about midshipmen. They are, I believe, the country's finest young men and women. And for me to work with them every day is, is a privilege. And now that men's rugby and women's rugby are varsity programs here at Navy, why should aspiring high school rugby players come to the United States Naval Academy? because you're going to get the best education that you could possibly get in the country. You're going to be uh, with the best rugby program that there is in the, in the country. Uh, you're going to get uh, a phenomenal experience being here in Annapolis, in the beautiful city of Annapolis, Maryland. And um, I believe that with the network of alums that we have, both through rugby and through the Naval Academy itself, you, you're connected to amazing people for the rest of your life. So it, it's, it's, it's big, big picture, long term. It's not just about your four years here, even though they are going to be a, the most amazing four years of your life. It's the network of, of people that you're going to be friends with for the rest of your life. And, and that's, it's so vital for, for one's own success. Coach, thanks so much for joining me today. Best of luck in the upcoming season and congrats on the recent news. Thank you very much.